Okay, now we're going to show how to do diameters using ControlCAD on a ZCAT. Um, it's a very typical item that many customers want to do. Um, it's fairly simple. Uh, we have a diameter icon on the screen. I can highlight the diameter icon and I can hit enter. And again, a very similar screen will come on, tell us we're going to measure a diameter. We do a minimum of three points for a diameter. Uh, we haven't taken any yet, and this is the probe we're using, which is the vertical probe. So I'm going to, in this case, just go to one of these small diameters. And as usual, I'm going to give it a go to above that diameter. Now, again, I could twist the gauge or I could just hit the go to um, plus sign on the screen to give it a go to to drive it to that location. I'm going to come down and I'm going to manually touch four random points give it another go to and hit finish. As soon as it's done calculating it'll flash and I'm going to put that first diameter right there on the screen. Now that was the simplest way to do a diameter. If I wanted to run it manually I could highlight it and hit enter. It will go to my go to, go in and take those four random points. And those random points are wherever, very close to where I touched before but it will because it knows what the diameter is, basically, it'll vector almost perfectly. Um, if I wanted to see the results of that screen, I could hit my program button, and here are the results and the fit. Uh, at that point, I could hit the send button, and I could send it out either through the cable or wirelessly, depending on your setup, to um, whatever device we're hooked up to. So I now have that diameter on the screen. I still have a plane. I'm going to save it by hitting the, the folder twice, and I'm going to measure another diameter. Um, this is going to be another inside diameter. We've, we can do inside and outside diameters, but I'm going to show you um, the reason for um, having these numbers on there. So I'm going to highlight the diameter. I'm going to highlight the plane, so I want to take the diameter off of that plane. I'm going to highlight the number 6, which will tell it I want to take 6 points. And I'm going to highlight the minus 5, which tell it I want to measure 5 millimeters below that plane. So with all of those highlighted, I can hit enter, and the gauge will know um, what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to go above this large diameter. I'm going to give it a go to, but instead of, I only have to take three points because it knows it's going to measure six. So I'm going to measure the first point, and then the second point will be not quite halfway around the circle. And the third point will be before the finish of the circle. I'll raise it up again, give it another go to, and I'll hit finish. Again, it's flashing. I'll put it on my session. You'll notice it says diameter number two. To run it under DCC, I'll highlight it. I'll hit enter. And now it will go down and take six points around the diameter of that circle because I told it it was I wanted to measure six points because I had it programmed in there and it's going to vector perfectly and then it goes to my go-to. So at the end I have that finished. Now I may want to do uh, an outside diameter and again I can say I want to measure a diameter off of that plane and take six points but I don't want to do minus 5 because I'm going to measure this outside diameter here. I'm not going to put anything and I'm just going to hit enter and will automatically ask me what's the offset of the plane which is asking me how far above the plane do I or below the plane. It's asking me where does it want to take the points and I'm going to say inst instead of minus 5 I'm just going to say 5 and that'll be 5 millimeters above the plane that'll take the points. So again very similar to what I did with the inside diameter. I'm going to position the probe, give it a go to, and I'm going to touch three points again. One, don't go quite halfway around for the second, and not quite all the way around for the third, and give it another go to, and I'll hit finish. Now, on all the diameters, I'm doing a counterclockwise uh, motion on the probe hits. Uh, that is important. Um, but now it's flashing and I'll highlight that and put it up here that's diameter number three and I'll highlight diameter number three and I'll run and now it'll go down to that outside diameter and measure six points exactly five millimeters above the plane under DCC 
Remember, it's measuring at four millimeters per second, um, and it's setting up four millimeters away from where it thinks the, the probe head will be. So at the end, we have done two inside diameters, one outside diameter. They're all saved on this, they're all in my session, and I'll save it by hitting the menu or the folder twice, and that's how we measure diameters.